Hi, my name is Julianne Bramson and I am co-owner of Fashion and Harmony Patterns and co-author of Bias Cut Blueprints. And today I'm going to show you how to make a bias tube and that tube can be used to make a skirt or a scarf or tons of other projects that are in our book. So you're going to start with a rectangle and the first thing you want to do is mark the short edges of the rectangle with edge one and the long edges with edge two. The next thing you're going to do is fold the fabric. So you fold the edge one to edge two. It's more important that this fold be smooth than that they match up perfectly along edge two. The next step is you take your scissor and with your hand keeping the fabric stable, you're going to cut along the fold that you just made. This cut doesn't have to be perfect because it can be trimmed off later. So you fold back. The next step is to take edge one to edge one, match them together. And you're going to pin and sew those edges. I like to sew these seams with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and the reason why is because I don't like to trim. In most modern machines, they're metric systems, so the needle in the center position, the side of the foot, is about one centimeter, which is very close to three eighths. It's a good guide. Back stitching isn't that important with this. Just sew all the way to the end. Press the seam open or to one side, depending on how heavy your fabric is. Okay, so we've pressed the first seam that we sewed edge one, and the next step is you're going to bring edge two to edge two. And it's easy to get lost here and sew the bias edges to each other, but you want to be sure that you're sewing the straight of grain edges to each other. So you're going to bring the point of edge two with right sides together, and it's offset just a tiny bit so that when you start sewing, you're sewing on fabric and not on the air. I'm just going to put one pin here. It's possible to pin it all the way down, uh, but I find that it's easier to sew it to just put a couple of pins in and then orient it as I'm going. I'm going to do that. And the same 3 8 inch seam allowance. And you're just going to match it up as you go until you get to the end. You can see at the end that there's a little bit that isn't quite matching up and that's not a problem. Usually what I'll do is lay it out flat and smooth and trim it off with a scissor or a rotary cutter to have a smooth edge. So after you finish sewing the seam, you can turn it inside out, um, press your seam first, obviously, and now you have a bias tube, and you can use that to make bias facings, a scarf, a skirt, all kinds of other wonderful projects. I hope you enjoy the bias cut and give it a try.